Good morning, crafters. My name is Juanette, and I'm an independent stabbing up demonstrator in the United States. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Juanette's Paper Crafts. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell so you'll be able to receive notifications when I have a new tutorial uploaded. Today we are going to be making what is called a stained glass window card. And as you can see, these are absolutely beautiful cards. Now, here is an image of the stained glass window up close. So to begin, we are going to need sponge daubers and I ordered these off of Amazon and I have one for each of my colors of ink. I also put on the outside and the inside the color of the ink so that I could make sure I get the right sponge dauber for each ink. Then I also have another one with some empty spaces for new inks that I will purchase. So the stamp set that I used today is called Colorful Seasons Stamp Set and I'm using the leaf set. So I started off with Daffodil Delight and I stamped the entire leaf on that piece of scrap white cardstock that is about four inches by three inches. Then I took my sponge dauber and I added some Cajun craze along the edge. Then next I took pumpkin pie and did the same thing, dabbing that dauber into my ink pad and then on to my stamp. The next color is real red and I wanted some of that down at the bottom of the leaf. And then my final ink color is Mossy Meadow and I just put a little bit on the edges of the leaf. Now I didn't like that there was kind of an empty space in the middle there, so I came back with some more Daffodil Delight and added another layer there. Now this is the same thing on a different piece of cardstock, and I'm showing you a little bit close up view of the stamping process. And in this one I used Pineapple Punch ink. Each one of your images that you color will be a little bit different. And you can change different ink colors. You could do different kinds of green, different kinds of oranges, Here I'm going in again with the real red, adding it to the bottom of the leaf, then the mossy meadow, and that little bit of the leaf over on that left hand side I felt needed a little bit of ink. So I re-stamped it and I added a little bit more green in the middle. So now you are going to take a piece of window sheet or acetate, and mine was about four by four. Treat it with your embossing buddy. Then stamp your image. And this is the outline of the stamp set or should I say the middle of it, you're going to stamp Versamark ink on the acetate.
then apply your gold embossing powder. Use a little brush to wipe off any that may be left behind and then use your heat tool to melt the embossing powder. And then after it dries, just take a clean, dry cloth and wipe off the excess embossing powder. So what you're going to need for your card is your card base, and that is your standard card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then you will need some type of a pattern paper for your layering, and that is four by five and a half. And I used the Woven Threads Designer Series paper on one card, and on the other card I used Press Petals DSP. Then for your top layer, that is three and three fourths by five and that is going to be the top part of your card and that is will, where you will stamp your embossed image and cut out your leaf. So I lay that top piece of Whisper White again which is five by three and three fourths. I add my leaf die cut or die to it, ran it through my die cutting machine and have it cut out there. I will save that leaf there to decorate the inside of the card. Then you're going to bring in your Stamparatus And my sentiment that I used is from Country Home, and it is simply thankful for all the good things. So treat your cardstock with your embossing buddy. Apply your Versamark ink to your stamp. Stamp it. Apply your gold embossing powder over it. Shake off and flick off any excess and again you could always use a dry paint brush to take off any extra embossing powder that you see. Then heat set it with your heat tool. Now it looks like I got a little bit of something there. I'm not sure what it is, but that eraser is fantastic and I ordered mine off of Amazon. It's a mono sand eraser. So you can see there's a little bit of an embossing uh, powder on the edge of that piece of acetate, but it really doesn't matter because that is not going to be seen in the card. The only thing that is going to be seen is the embossed leaf itself. So apply either a tape runner, you could use liquid glue all around the outside of that die cut on the back side of your card and line up the window sheet 
over the back of it, making sure that the raised embossing area will be on the front of the card. And you can just take a pair of uh, paper snips and cut off any excess if it lays over. So you can see that embossing powder that kind of got on the acetate there is not going to be seen. So then you will take some foam tape and I use 3M. You could also use our Stamping Ups adhesive foam tape and apply it generously to the back of that front panel. Because if you mail your card, you don't want it to arrive flattened out as it goes through the meter at the post office. Then remove your backing off of part of it. And as you can see, I kind of just fold down those two sides so that I can line up that over my stamped image. And there's going to be a little bit of a blooper at the end of the video so you can see um, a little mistake there. So apply it and then cut off any excess that you might have. Remove the rest of the backing from the double-sided tape. Then take either liquid glue or a tape runner. Apply it over that white piece because there's nothing to uh, adhere it to your layer there. And apply it to your pattern paper. Then apply whatever adhesive you want to use and put it on your card base. And do you see how beautiful that stained glass look is? And again, I still see a little bit of a mark there. So I take my sand eraser and take that off. So to decorate the inside of the card, I took that leftover leaf cut out, applied some of that um, gold ink that is in our annual catalog. It is kind of a wet ink, so you want to make sure that you set it aside and dry. And then I decided to also decorate the envelope using the Delicata ink, the gold one. Now as my blooper comes up, I decided to leave the original voice in the video.
<laughs> oh, dang it. So here are my final cards. This card here, I used uh, the designer series paper, pressed petals. It has a kind of a burlap looking pattern to it. And then that is the back side because it is double sided paper. And then with the next card, I used woven threads paper as my layering piece. And there is the other side of that one. This card here is the one that stuck to the glass mat. And if I bring it up close, you can see a little bit of a crinkle, but you really have to look hard and fast for that. I think it still came out as a beautiful card. And then the last card is one that I made for a dear co-worker who is going through a real difficult time right now. When I fly back to California, I will give it to her and I think it's just appropriate for what she's going through right now. Anyway, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Juanette's Paper Crafts, and please Feel free to take a look at my online store at juanettehewitt.stampingup.net and have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.